We're going to be in the Carolinas throughout the week tracking this storm. We'll see you tomorrow. The news at 5 is next. Live from the station taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. Right now at 5, half naked in the airport. But that's not the reason this man ends up in handcuffs. Watch the violent tirade unfold in the middle of the terminal. Plus new details about the final days of a Largo toddler's life and the red flags from his mother that authorities might have missed. And a teacher fessing up to a crime, the troubling discovery at a local high school, forcing parents to have tough conversations with their kids tonight. But first, almost out of time on the right side of your screen, a live look at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Literally, the calm before the storm as millions of people finish their final preparations before feeling the full force of Hurricane Florence. And now this, a brand new look at the powerful storm moving closer to landfall. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips got the new track on Florence just moments ago. Dennis, what's the update? Wendy, well, this is something we've really noticed since last night when the European model put a pretty abrupt change and decided instead of moving inland to bring this right along the Carolina coastline. Well, now the Hurricane Center is in agreement with that track, and we believe that is...